Thank you for joining us. This is Michelle Davies from MichaelaTV.com, and we're here in Brooklyn at the Wyckoff Heights Medical Center covering the Premature Birth Awareness Conference with Danny Clark from the New York Giants and Cheryl James from Salt and Peppa. Come inside with me and let's talk to them. Welcome everyone here. Thanks for making the time. Uh, to come and join us. I'm an advocate for soldiers in the community. There's so many soldiers in the community doing so many great things and they don't get the recognition and the appreciation and the support that they need and sometimes it's hard and they get tired and so God sees everybody. Everybody that's here working hard for the children, just remember if, if people don't see, God sees what you're doing. And I was ironically born in Wyckoff Hospital. <laughs> Obviously, you guys are turning out some great people. <laughs> so I'm just here to just lend my support as a celebrity. I think it's important that you know you lend your support to good causes, and, and I always do. And I support Wyckoff, and I support what you all are doing. And God bless you, and continue your great work. And thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You're here with Michelle Davies from MichaelaTV.com. And I have the esteemed pleasure of being here with Cheryl James Salt from Salt and Pepper, the big girl group from the early 1990s. I was there dancing to Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for joining us today, Cheryl. I'm so excited. Thank that you. You're here no with problem. Us. Tell us why premature birth is an important issue for you. Well, um, I have a few family members and friends who had uh, premature births. And the kids are here, and they're beautiful, and they're fabulous, and <laughs> I couldn't imagine them not being here. And yeah. so I just think it's really important. If a child can be saved, then you know it should be done and supported. What do you think um, about the statistic that we heard about that African American women have a higher instance of premature birth? What do you think about that? I learned a lot today um, about that and what what uh, how you can prevent it. And sometimes it's genetics, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's you know the way that your diet and and maybe um, substance abuse. Um, it was surprising that that um, African American women had premature babies more than Hispanic and Caucasian. It's kind of a sad thing if you think about it. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it really is. But, you know, because of Wyckoff Hospital and people, you know, who are, are um, bringing awareness to prevention, mm -hmm. the numbers are going down, and that's a beautiful thing. It is. Are there any other charities or any other um, places that you wanted to talk about that you're involved in? Well, um, Salt and Pepper have always been advocates of HIV and AIDS awareness okay. before it was popular mm -hmm. a long time ago, and we still are. Um, there's a lot of different organizations, grassroots organizations that work with kids in the community. There's a Hip Hop for Life, uh, okay. Life Camp, um, um, Life Beat is the organization that we work with that brings awareness to HIV. And I just feel like as a celebrity, it's the least I can do. Absolutely. Come, sign autographs, shake hands, say a few words, and it's my pleasure. And it's very rewarding to give it back. Is. Mm. It is. Um, what are you working on going forward musically or in, in the industry that we should know about? Uh, there's a lot of things in the works. We did the Salt and Pepper show on VH1, and you got to see me Which and Peppa act crazy. It's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa acting a little more crazy than me. But um, Peppa's coming back now with her own show. She's, oh, wow. She's okay. been uh, not dating for about five years now. I mean, like, really not dating. So <laughs> she's looking for somebody. She's looking for love. So that's coming back. I'm done with reality. Uh, we might be doing radio in the future. We definitely have some music that we've been working on. And we've been back on the road. That's exciting. Yeah, after a long time of me really being exciting. in retirement, we're back on the road. And it's amazing because people still love us. They still want us. We still sell out. And I'm, I'm amazed by that that's, and appreciative. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, what can we tell your fans and the people who are watching us today about who you are as a person, as an individual? What would you like to tell us that we don't already know about Cheryl James? Wow, that's deep. Um, about Cheryl James. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, um, mm -hmm. and I don't know, I just want my legacy to be that I gave back and I cared. 
That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I'm you. so pleasured and honored thank to you. be talking to you. Guys, we're going to sign off for now. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you very soon on MichaelaTV.com. Bye. The hardship, it's many tears. Um, in nursery and in maternal child, we not only treat the patient, which is the baby or the mother, we have to take a holistic approach. Like we say, my house is your house in Spanish, mi casa es tu casa. This becomes their house, and we welcome them into our Waikwa family, and we make sure that we make part of their family. So Kimberly, tell us a little bit about your experience here at Wyckoff Hospital and tell us a little bit about Kaylee, who is gorgeous, and um, your experience is having a premature birth. Okay, um, she was, um, I was only 24 weeks, um, and she weighed one pound and 10 ounces, wow. which is um, 740 grams. And um, she got really, really, really sick. Uh, a week after she was born, so they thought that she was not going to make it, um, and we had to uh, get the priest. We had to baptize the baby. Um, so the same day we well, we baptized the baby, um, they started giving the um, steroid for her lungs because okay. her lungs were like really really black. You couldn't see it on the X-ray, and um, they started giving the X um, the um, steroid. So little by little, she, you know, she started, like her lungs started getting clear and clear and clear. And she was three months at the hospital. I oh had um, a great experience with the nurses and the doctors. And they used to kick me out of the hospital sometimes because I was here. I, I wanted to be here 24-7. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Um, but I used to come here three and four times a day. Mm -hmm. used to stay here for as long as they, they let me in the NICU. But um, it was a great experience. I never thought that I was gonna go through that, but God gave me the faith on the doctors and on him that my baby was gonna be okay. And she is, now wow. she's like 12 pounds now. So. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us to talk to us today about your baby. Um, this issue of premature birth is a very, very big issue right now, and we're gonna continue to go back inside and cover the rest of the conference. We'll see you in a little while.